Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. Please watch the entire playlist for all the questions. Question 24. You plan to deploy Microsoft Power BI items by using Fabric Deployment Pipelines. You have a deployment pipeline that contains three stages named Development, Test and Production. A workspace is assigned to each stage. You need to provide Power BI developers with access to the pipeline. The solution must meet the following requirements. Ensure that the developers can deploy items to the workspaces for development and test. Prevent the developers from deploying items to the workspace for production. Follow the principle of least privilege. Which three levels of access should you assign to the developers? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. A. Build permission to the production semantic models. B. Admin access to the deployment pipeline. C. Viewer access to the development and test workspaces. D. Viewer access to the production workspace. E. Contributor access to the development and test workspaces. F. Contributor access to the production workspace. Please take a moment to pause the video, review the answer options, and then verify your answer. The correct answer options are B, D, and E. Now, let's look at all the answer options and see why these are correct. Option A. Build permission to the production semantic models. This permission is incorrect because according to the Microsoft documentation, it states that workspace members assigned the viewer role without build permissions can't access the semantic model or edit workspace content. This means if you have build permission, you can access the semantic model or edit workspace content, which we do not want to give developers in production. Thus, this option is incorrect. Option B. Admin access to the deployment pipeline. Admin access is necessary for developers to manage the deployment process, move items between stages, and oversee the entire pipeline. Without this access, they wouldn't be able to deploy items to any workspace. You might think that giving admin access allows developers to move items between development, test, and production stages. However, we can control the permission on the production workspace by assigning the developer as a viewer, option D, so they cannot deploy to production. Option C, viewer access to the development and test workspaces. Viewer access is too restrictive. To ensure that developers can deploy items to the development and test workspaces, they need contributor access, which is option E, making it the correct answer. Option D, viewer access to the production workspace. Assigning developers as viewers in the production workspace ensures they can see but not deploy or modify content in production. This adheres to the principle of least privilege, making it the correct choice. Option E, contributor access to the development and test workspaces. Contributor access allows developers to make changes and deploy items within the development and test workspaces. This access level is necessary for their development and testing tasks, making it the correct answer. Option F. Contributor access to the production workspace. This violates the principle of least privilege by allowing developers to make changes in the production environment. Therefore, it is incorrect. So, by selecting options B, D and E, we can ensure that developers have the necessary permissions to perform their tasks without having more access than required, particularly in the production environment. I hope this explanation was helpful. Please review the roles in workspaces in Microsoft Fabric before your exam. See you with another question in the next video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe for more videos.